what what do you think are the just in that context what do you think are the key considerations for hr professionals in the use of ai uh, in the workplace yeah i think i think the key thing is and whenever there's changing legislation often what happens is that the legislation is passed and then enacted and then you know we all have to figure out how do you comply with it and and usually um usually there's some direction that does eventually come down from you know from the government around what's more explicitly what does compliance look like and then of course there's always going to be legal challenges and cases that will really kind of define long term what compliance looks like so right at this moment when um, there's new legislation and maybe what compliance looks like isn't very clear. So for instance, you know, AI is, is one of those really big umbrella terms that can cover everything from, you know, chat bots and, um, you know, things like chat GPT, which, you know, aggregates content and, and kind of creates or synthesizes it to you know that sort of future of ai which which is a lot more um actually artificial intelligence and creating new things and we're not quite at that last piece so like when you think about compliance it's really not clear what they're looking for like when you have to disclose the use of ai does that mean that if you've got in your applicant tracking system something that looks for keywords you know does that fit the definition of ai or are they looking more explicitly for like AI enabled assessments that may um, disqualify candidates from the process? They've used a very broad term. And so for HR, figuring out, you know, understanding what are your processes and how are you using the technology and does that technology fit the definition of this particular legislation, I think is, is sort of a first foundational step um that organizations will need to go through and then the second piece then is is that as you start looking forward thinking about how can ai be used responsibly um i think it's a great productivity hack tool i think that it, it can actually when used correctly can actually reduce bias rather than introduce bias um and then really thinking about what if any controls do you have around who and when people are using, how and when people are using AI, I think is really important as well. So I think those are some of the key decisions that um, HR professionals need to make. And I think that I'm always a huge advocate for evidence-based decision-making. And so understanding what is the data, what are some of the cases of how other organizations are addressing these, these changes, and then charting the course for your own organization, I think is is how I am always advising clients to to approach this. 